kad muzeju dibināja 1924. gadā šis kompleks nepiederēja muzejam, šī muižiņa. When our museum was founded in 1924, this, uh, this building didn't belong to the museum. Arī šobrīd var teikt, also, ka in our times we can say that this uh, manor house doesn't belong to the exhibition of the museum. Taču būt tikai taisnīgi. But uh, I could say it would be only fair if uh, visitors of the museum sometimes could see the interiors of the manor house as well as the other houses which represent the way of life of peasant people in Latvia. Un tas, ko mēs nevarējām and that what we couldn't do during those 80 years of our existence ekspozīcijā proti šādu muižu iekļaušanu that is what we have done in the virmus project un ne tikai ja muižiņi teiks, considering this uh, building historically has belonged to the uh, inhabitants of german origin we have included in our project also the fact that many nations have lived in latvia in uh, in all times including such nations as gypsies ka latvijā dzīvojuši arī ebreji jūds Poļi. Polish people. Un visu šo vēsturisko materiālu, kas faktiski... And all this material, which more can be seen in Latvia around us, not in the museum. And uh, so we can say that this project with the, our museum in the center of it, in fact, is the history of all Latvia, of Latvian nation. Taču mēs projektā nekautrējām. So we tried in our museum to, to depict the main characteristical things both of Latvian nation tās dažādās tautas as well as of all other nations living in Latvia. Tāpēc projektā var redzēt So in this Virmos project we can see as well as the values of Latvian culture as well as uh, the historical values of uh, German landlords as well as the historical events of uh, the revolution of 1905 and the, all those uh, ruins which has been left from the First World War. Here we are in the homestead of uh, western part of Latvia. Uh, this house is from middle of 19th century and this is rather prosperous or well-to-do uh, peasant's house. Uh, uh, here we are in the only heated room in this house. So you can see the big stove or oven which uh, gave warmth to all the family living here in, and in our rather serious winters when it's about 10 up to 20 degrees be below zero all the family had stay uh, for nights in this chamber so it was not the life was not so comfortable as it uh, can be can you can think uh, coming in there in our cold winters with dark and long nights and short days uh, the people used those splinter holders to light the room because candles in this time were very expensive things so the room was lighted by specially dried wooden splinters which were put into the splinter holders and they were burned from one end such splinter is burning for, for about uh, 12 up to 15 minutes and then it should be changed and that was the duty of oldest kids to change the splinters this is the first uh, type of latvian babysitter if there was a baby in the family in the age when it's starting to to walk by himself and nobody of adults had time for looking after him then the baby was put inside there he could walk around by his feet and in such a way he learned how to walk and at the same time he was safe because he couldn't get out of the room where it was rather dangerous for such a little creature. In past times Latvians had big 
and vast families consisting of several generations. In such family, it was usually four, five or even six children and they lived together with their parents and grandparents and it means that this room during winter time about 12 up to 15 people were staying uh, for sleeping at night and this is a big table where all the family gathered for their daily meals so in this corner we see the bed of the farmer of the householder himself where he used to sleep together with his wife of course and with their smallest baby which is sleeping in the cradle near the bed during the night candles you will see only in this corner where the uh, farmer himself was staying because candles were very expensive things in 19th century because they were made only from natural products and that was beeswax and sheep fat and these things were not uh, sufficient amount always so as I told already the room was lighted by splinters light and candles were used for lighting the room only on weekends or special events when some guests came to the house or 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 let's say on Sunday parties or birthday parties which took place in this house. And now we are in the small countryside parish church from western part of Latvia called Kurland or Kurzeme in Latvian. This uh, small wooden church is 300 years old. It was built in 1504 and its interior made in rich rural baroque style is made in 1705, only one year after the building the church. Of course, uh, in biggest cities and towns of Latvia, you will find uh, churches built from stone and uh, bricks uh, starting from 13th century. But in countryside, mostly all buildings and uh, churches as well were wooden structures because timber was the main building material in Latvia. Uh, mostly Latvians are Lutherans and this is a Lutheran church and then one more thing I must say this church is still serving its purpose it's one of two pieces of exhibition of our museum which is still serving and this church each uh, Sunday is waiting people for services and very many weddings take place there as well as christening of children and so on and this is very popular place in Riga.